guys, how are you? Today I want to talk about great stuff. This is the first time I'm using this. It's because I have some holes on the wall that I want to cover. So to do that, I'm going to use this thing. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, there's some big holes in there. Um, probably way back in the days. <laughs> I don't know when um, it had some coverage see with this kind of stuff oops and it looks like it's the same material because it looks like foamy you see but that's um, a very bad thing for rodents like mice or rats or whatever so I just want to cover that so we're gonna try to use this thing and see what's gonna happen Alright, so if we read the instructions right over here or somewhere, it says follow instructions on the can carefully. Handle responsibly, plan, prepare, and practice. Use protection to avoid all contact with skin's eyes such as gloves and safety glasses. Eliminate all sources of ignition, ensure good ventilation, shake vigorously minimum 30 seconds, screw straw assembly onto Bob, the straw that I have in my hands right here, uh, right there comes with a can and this product does not flow easily do not force product from can okay this is your clean up solid surface tacky foam dissolves with acetone skin and cured foam all foam must be mechanically removed or allowed to wear off in time so those are the instructions mm. To me, this place, you know, the hole looks very clean, so I don't need to, like, take stuff off. I don't even want to put my hand in there. So. Alright. So I just tested a few, some little holes, but here, you can see there's a drop of that thing. It's like a foamy thing. So I'm just going to fill it up. So the shield is cold right there looks very good now and then go to the bottom over here I'm gonna seal that too there were a few holes right here as well so I'm just gonna peel out there and a little bit over here right there yep so there's a little bit more over here. Right here. Uh, right here, too. Alright. Looking good. Now the excess. You just swipe it out a little bit with this. Um, then it will fall. So I'm just going to fill it up a little more over here to make sure this is sealing up. It's kind of difficult to see if it's sealing up or not, but, you know, I'll, I'll know eventually if it worked or not, and I'll keep you posted. But this is basically what it does. So now all we got to do is wait for it to dry. And then from there, I guess I'm going to have to scrape down a little bit to make it more even. It doesn't look so weird. Because this is going to be hard and strong so but I have to wait until it cures yep right there okay I also have seen this right here just gonna put this leaves out 
fill it up. To prevent any animal to come in. Animals, insects, spiders, you name it. So, just fill that up. Good. There's, there's also a hole here next to the window. I'm gonna just seal that up too. And I think the ants come in there. Um, because I have, sometimes I have ants inside the kitchen. So maybe they come through there. Okay, well that looks much better. Okay you guys, I'm just going to leave it like that. And later on, I'll show you what happened if it hardened up enough. Right now it's, you know, very humid, very uh, foamy. So we, we need for it to wait to cure. I like this product um, it meets the purpose it's very easy to use uh, just make sure you wear your protective gloves and glasses if you have I know they make this this is made in USA by the way and it's eco friendly um, the other thing that you should know about this product is that they make uh, different products depending on what you need to do they have big gap fillers fire block window and door and pass lock so it only was three dollars and something um nothing to you know that is gonna break the bank and it will just you know it will it will just make things for you a little bit easier around the house thank you so much for watching and if you like what you see please rate comment subscribe and come back soon goodbye